Hey gang, how's it going? I thought I would talk to you guys. You know, I try to do the get ready with me's and I try to talk to you guys while applying my makeup and I feel like I end up editing, editing out all of the ums and the likes and the pauses and and the repetition of words and stuff like that. So while I still edit out a lot of ums and likes and so's and all that stuff, I this way I think I can focus a little bit better. So I wanna talk to you guys about 2017 and I know that I am jumping in a little early to talk about the end of the year. We still got like three months, including this one, but I thought I would talk to you guys about it anyway. Now, I guess I need to talk to you guys about 2015, 2016, and 2017. 2015 is the year that if I could erase a year out of my life, it would be 2015. But since that is not possible, I believe that I needed to experience 2015 to be able to really give 2016 what it needs. So instead, I just want to formally apologize to anyone in 2015 that I may have upset or that I may have confused or that I just felt like there was so many misses that happened. It seems like 2015 was just an all around like, what? 2015, I had to come to realize many things. I felt like because I had to be so inward, I was not available as I should have been for other things. And of course, I always put my family first. My family's okay, don't worry about that. But I'm grateful for the, I'm, I'm gonna call it a refiner's fire. I felt like I learned a lot in 2015, especially towards the second half of 2015. I'm continuously learning. I just feel like there are some some seasons where I feel like it's like intense learning and then other times where I feel like I get a little bit of a break. Uh, so 2015 was a year of learning and a year of understanding that I need to continue to put my trust in God. And the big regret of 2015 was, I didn't even like talking about it, is the fact that I ignored many of the things my heart was telling me and I pushed aside many things that I should have I should have tackled. I think pushing them aside made it worse and I've been pushing aside some things for many years now and 2015 was, I feel like it was God's way of saying you can't do this anymore. I know that you're going through this so let's, let's hash this out and let's talk about it. And when I talked about love and fear in one of my other videos, this is one of those things where I felt a fear that if I were to tackle certain things that are battling within me and to ask God for help in them, I feared what the outcome would be. And I found that I am dumb at times and I should have just trusted in the first place. 2015 was just kind of rough. I just felt like the, the things that I needed strength in that I was refusing to to really turn to God for, it ended up crumbling. And I felt like he was just standing up in the sky going, you ready for my help now? So I remember posting on Facebook about 2015 and how I'm so ready to be done with 2015. I'm gonna make 2016 mine and I am ready for this. So I found that like the very beginning of 2016 was me, saying, all right, let's do this, let's move forward. And then if I could sum up the rest of 2016, it would be me yelling, I am not ready. Life is just going fast and I'm just being pulled behind. It's like, hurry, hurry, do this. Hey, guess what, your weekend's over. Hey, guess what, you gotta do this. Okay, it's this week. Okay, it's this month. I feel like I have not had a moment to like, grab my bearings and then trudge forward. I felt like I'm being dragged and I'm trying to grab my bearings in the process. And any time that I was able to like sit down and breathe, I felt like an interruption came and something needed to be done. Like me just playing catch up. That's what I feel like 2016 is. I feel like life is like, let's go. And I'm just like running. The great thing about 2016 is I have definitely learned to trust my heart. 
to trust like what feels right within me. So it is said that for every action there's an equal or opposite reaction. So I have found that as I trusted my heart and moved forward in that trust and trusted my God and moved forward in that, that I had just as much opposition. The one thing that kept me going was me just saying, I know what I'm doing is right. So 2016 has been difficult, but not but not like un unbearable. I can deal with it. 2016 has given me much more confidence in knowing what I need to do for the future. And so I am trusting, I'm hoping that 2017 will be an easy year. That will be the year where things will come together better, that I will be able to walk alongside life instead of life just going <laughs> super fast and I play catch up. There are certain things that I know that need to be accomplished first this year before that will happen, but I feel a lot of peace and I'm excited for it. So yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to 2017, although I'm not ready yet for 2017. So what are your guys' thoughts on 2016 and your thoughts as you go into 2017, which I know is a couple months away, I understand. And maybe I'm just trying to be more prepared because with the way things are going, I won't have any time to talk to you guys about this anyway. So I figured I would take this little blip of time and talk to you guys about it. And it's something that has been on my mind for the past couple days. And of course, as you guys know me, when things just tick away on my mind and they kind of tap on my mind, I pull out the camera and I just open my heart up to you guys and I really appreciate you guys for listening to me. Many of you guys get me and that is something that I admire and I appreciate so much. I'm not saying that my friends here don't get me but it's nice to reach out to you guys and to tell you the things that are weighing on my heart or pressing on my mind and you guys say, oh, I completely understand or oh, I've been there before and here's what I did or oh, I can see how you would feel that way. So anyways, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to keep following me, please subscribe. All my social media links are down below. But most importantly, y'all have a good day. I'll catch you on the flip. Bye.